Welcome to Chiro Life, chiropractic health insights for robust optimization. We are going to help you live life in full expression. You don't need to see a chiropractor and other myths. It's one question that I get asked a lot and understandably is when somebody says, well, you don't need to see a chiropractor. And it may be that they're seeing their GP or their specialist or another healthcare practitioner or maybe a friend or a family member or even a colleague at work has said, ah, don't worry about the chiropractor, that's not a chiropractic problem. And I want to address that comment here in this particular you know, video so that you can know and understand how to make an informed choice because there's certainly times and places not to see a chiropractor. If you get hit by a bus and you are bleeding out, I don't want you in my office. I want you in the ambulance on the way to the hospital so they can save your life. And that is the distinction. There is a difference between the pathogenic and crisis care model and the salutogenic model. And that's a big word and I'm going to explain that. And it's a crazy word. And honestly, most of you will not have been familiar with that word. Most of your medical practitioners, even the specialists, will not be aware of that word. So I'm going to break those two paradigms down so you can understand the mythology about when not to see a chiropractor. So first of all, let's talk about the pathogenic model. So, and the crisis care model for that matter as well. So when you have a crisis, if you have a broken bone, if you fall from a horse and have a head injury, if you are bleeding, if you've had some major trauma, you need crisis care, you need specialist medical attention, and I want you to get that attention. Equally, if you have a severe life-threatening condition, a diagnosis of pathology, such as cancer, heart disease, neurodegenerative disease like Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, things that are going to be requiring medical intervention, then you need to get medical help because something is wrong. Now, if you go down that pathway and it's not one of those severe significant concerning diagnoses and the doctor says look you know what there's nothing wrong let's come back onto the other this other side we'll talk about salutogenesis pathogenesis is the study of disease and what causes the body to break down salutogenesis is the study of health and what causes the body to heal to repair and express itself fully and completely this is the domain of chiropractors Pathogenesis is the design and you know, area of expertise of medicine. And they are a world apart. So when something is wrong, go to your doctor. When something is perfectly right, go to your chiropractor. Because they're going to keep you that way and express that even more. But when something's not wrong, but it's not right, it's somewhere in the middle, that's also when you go to your chiropractor. Because the movement towards better health is a salutogenic process. It's a lifestyle process. And this is chiro life because chiro life is a lifestyle of adjusting with exercise, eating well, diet, nutrition, emotional well-being, and making the lifestyle choices and making chiropractic part of your lifestyle to become salutogenic and move in the direction of health and well-being. And we love sharing that message with you. At times, some people say, you don't need to go to a chiropractor for that. And the question I get those people to ask is, what makes you say that? Why would you say I don't need to see a chiropractor for that? And fill in the blank, whatever that may be. And if they don't have a clear answer from a place of experience, then they're operating from a limited paradigm or a limited understanding. And the GP may say, don't, don't need to see a chiropractor for that. That's not their specialization or expertise. How do they know that to be true? Have they developed the knowledge, skill and expertise to be able to quantify and qualify that? In most cases, that's not the case. And does your friend or family member say, oh, no, I don't have a chiropractor for that. Have they got the expertise or understanding to make that informed decision? So the reason I share this with you is the person that can answer whether or not it is a chiropractic issue. Is the chiropractor in consultation with you having an open and real conversation? And if they cannot find a chiropractic issue, if they cannot offer you support to move in the direction of the health, the healing, the energy, and the life that you want, they will point you in the right direction. However, I'm going to suggest, I'm going to encourage you not to listen to the people who don't have clear insights into what the role and responsibility of the chiropractor is for your health 
for your life and to engage in conversation with people who do have that knowledge, who do have that understanding and who want to serve your health from a salutogenic model of care. I hope that makes sense. I hope that moving forward, you'll listen to your heart and your head and make an informed decision so that you can reclaim the health, recapture the vitality and move in the direction of the life that you want. I trust you enjoyed this video. You've got some great insights and it can help you move in the direction of better health and well-being. And as always, if you need anything, just reach out. We're here for you at Provolution Health. Email us at info at provolutionhealth.com.au or call us on 02 6299 2660. I wish you Kyra in life.